Hi, this is Jamie Davis for Innovations in Patient Care. We're here at EMS Today 2012, and we're at the EMS 10 Awards Dinner, and a lot of exciting things getting announced tonight. In addition to the award winners, one of the things that Cam Pollock announced from the stage tonight was the upcoming Code STEMI project being released. I have Ted Setla, uh, director, uh, filmmaker, and one of the driving forces, along with Tom Boothelay, behind Code STEMI, and just thought I'd touch base with you real quick while I had you here to talk about what it is that, that makes Code STEMI such an innovative program. Well, I think there's a fine balance between trying to tell a story and making it viable so that it is of interest to a corporation or a company to want to come and be involved. I think, I think we're in a time in social media where we all really want to relate to the stories that are that are being seen or the videos that are being shown and it comes there comes a time and, and I guess from a filmmaker standpoint that's what really drove the proposal and trying to move this this forward was you know Tom Boothley has an obvious passion for 12 lead education mm -hmm. uh, understanding systems of care and uh, you know when you when you see someone with that kind of uh, you know glimmer in their eye and that passion to do something you know it was very easy for me to go you know what I think there's a lot more people that need to know about this and in order to do that you know you had to start thinking about all the different pieces that can come together as far as the real story and that's that's kind of where it uh, it began and Tom and I went uh, together for for a couple of months and just trying to say well how would this look and where do you think we should go and you know how would this relate and then we started thinking about well, how is this going to be financed? Because that's the big question, isn't it? I mean, nothing gets done for free, unfortunately. No, no it we, doesn't. We're, we're thankful to Physio Control for helping us to do this event and Absolutely. get the word out there. Absolutely. And I know that they've been very supportive of Code STEMI in the same right. way. But uh, once you figure that out, you get to tell a story. Right, uh, and, and honestly, from uh, from a filmmaker standpoint, there's nothing you want to do more than to go out and tell an amazing story that you know more people, if they knew about, would be impacted. Um, as a filmmaker, that's something that I'm I'm not only passionate about, but if I can do it uh, in a way that is impacting the industry that I grew up in, um, I, I feel like I'm touching more lives than just being in the back of mm -hmm. an ambulance. So that's that's really what my motivation is to to stay within the industry but to understand how these stories can have a bigger life or a longer life uh, beyond a few weeks or months in uh, you know on, on, a, on a website somewhere so so how do you approach a code STEMI episode you go into a city and you approach how they deal with STEMIs or, or how do you kind of work up an episode for the show there's a lot of different people that get involved on the pre-production side of things. Um, uh, uh, coming up on the uh, Sioux Falls episode that we're premiering coming Thursday, uh, a lot of the pre-production was done uh, two, three months in advance. As we sat down and had conversations about really all that actually went into developing their system of care, we took the high-level concept of what just happened and then broke it down. Who was involved in this? Who was involved in this? And then we went back, okay, what patients actually received treatment during this time? Can we get a hold of them? Can we, can we talk to them about their story? How can we develop their story into the whole scheme of things? And that's really what happened was we got to sit down with a STEMI survivor and it was almost, it was almost like uh, sitting in front of the, the most amazing storyteller ever. Oh, wow. Because he, he, he just could not uh, be any more... Uh, it's, it's the grandpa that you sat down as a kid and you go, God, grandpa, tell me it again, tell me it again. <laughs> and, and so to hear his story and I'm sitting there going, oh my goodness, this is gold. People are going to love this. But then I sat back and, you know, when it was all said and done, how, how does his story weave into the rest of it and all the people that are involved? Because the links are amazing. There's a lot of people uh, from the AHA all the way to, obviously in certain instances, physical control played a significant part. But it, it, these stories weren't about a product or a company. They were about the people that, that turned around and made the difference in the system. And uh, I think the uh, 750,000 square miles or, or something to that effect, and they have uh, a very small population covering that. So they had a lot of space uh, with not a lot of people and had to make sure that they get cardiac uh, care uh, in a timely manner. Um, that took that's a, a lot. Challenge in that is itself. a huge yeah. challenge, and that story alone made me go, "Oh, there, <laughs> getting this is them big. care, getting them care for a broken leg in a timely fashion is difficult. Right. Let alone something as time sensitive as cardiac care." Yeah, I definitely, you know, from 
from my understanding of how Tom understands systems of care, it was easy for him to go, oh my goodness, he was able to tell the story in a way I was like, Tom, you're, you're absolutely amazing. And, and I love hearing and seeing you on film because ultimately you're so passionate about it, it makes it clear for the observer to, to understand the concept. And, and that was the part that I turned around and I said, this is why we have to do this. So. Well, you're going to be pre premiering this episode, uh, premiering the series coming up here at this conference at EMS Today 2012. Uh, the folks that are watching this, it'll be after that conference. Where can they go and watch episodes of Code STEMI? Well, our first episode, of course, this Thursday at 7 p.m. Um, Eastern Time, and then we're going to have them coming out every two weeks after that. So this first rendition is uh, three episodes long with a ton of behind-the-scenes content that we, that we filmed already and that is up on the site. But you can see it at uh, firstrespondersnetwork.com forward slash CodeStemmy, all one word, or you can go to CodeStemmy.tv. Uh, so CodeStemmy.tv, and uh, you'll be able to see each of the episodes, and it's kind of laid out real, real easy for them. Well, we'll have so. links to that with this video, and of course, uh, the, the listeners of the audio version of In Innovations in Patient Care are no strangers to Tom Boothelay. He, we have him on whenever we have a hot cardiac topic to cover, and his passion comes through whether you're watching him or listening to him or whatever, and I know you know that's to be the case. So, uh, really excited to see this first episode coming out Thank here, uh, re released this week, and uh, all the subsequent stuff you guys are doing. Ted, you always put, put out such a great um, innovative product and looking at how we, changing how we view the stories that are the treatments, uh, the patients that we treat. I, you know, and I think it inspired from a journalism standpoint, I get telling a story from a journal, there's news, there's news there, but telling it so that people can really identify and, and understanding how that may impact them personally, I think that that's what's going to change how we uh, get our message out there, how we change EMS. We have to have the general public understand that this is their fight too. They're involved just as much as we are in the change and without them understanding what we're going through and the personal stories that we're impacting, they, they, they won't readily jump and help when we need them. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is a, uh, definitely a way to do that. So. Well, Ted, I want to thank you again for being on uh, any of my programs. It's always an honor to have you on and just a lot of fun to talk with you. I've seen all the projects we were talking earlier about how things have come along since the early days of Chronicles of EMS and uh, the first conference we went to and covered. Uh, you know, I, I think back to that and where we are now. <laughs> Years and, later. It hasn't gone where exactly we'd like to go as fast as we'd like Who to knew? get there, but certainly, certainly uh, in some ways beyond my wildest expectations and others. I couldn't agree. So thanks again, Jamie. I appreciate the opportunity.